I may have forgotten how to play Forza Horizon 5 again. Okay, hit me up. Maybe I haven't totally forgotten. I've got some tricks up my sleeve, and you may have seen this continuation of development. For example, these videos in where I spoke up, I don't know how to play Forza Horizon 5. Excuse me, sir! Now, there is something I do remember about how to play Forza Horizon 5, and that is that you must scam people a lot. So yesterday, I did the festival playlist, because I know you're supposed to do that thing, especially if there's a car that people want. And this is how it went. Why would you leave? We were winning! I hate you all so much. And voila, there we go. I got the MAMG SL6521. I will take that for my collection. Thank you very much. But you thought I was going <laughs> to keep the car? <laughs> that is where you are mistaken. I'm going to take this 2021 Mercedes AMG SL63. Have a check out what it's listed for. No. <laughs> Well, that means I can set my price. What is a fair price? Wait, I can only put her 400,000. Where's my like 20 million? I could set things at 20 million before. It's fine. It's 400,000. That's still good. Bro, no. I, oh, no. If I put like a tune on it or something, then I can sell it for 20 mil. Fuck! Yes, I think the way you make big money is by modifying it somehow by like painting it or putting a tune on it. Someone just got the bargain in the f century. I hope you're happy taking, <laughs> taking advantage of me. I think that's how it's worked, right? I, I, I think. Look, the, you see the title of the f video. I, I warned you. I don't know how to play this game. I didn't even drive the thing. I, I should have driven it for. Why did I not think? Now you might be thinking, Theo. Why are you driving this fat house? This is Forza Horizon. You've been driving supercars, hypercars. You've been driving something fun. I know. I thought I would ground myself and, you know, I, I, this is my naughty step. <laughs> if I don't do something right, I drive something I can't stand this big house. But hit me out, hit me out. There is something I do remember. See, it, the cogs are turning. I have remembered that in Horizon, you've got wheel spins. And if I go to our messages, I should have more money. So we got some news. Mm, yes, I care about the news. We got 732,006. Hey, 200,000. Basically, as much money overall as I sold my damn car for. This is 1 billion. What the frick? Look, who's downloading nine liveries? Who are you? What are you? What? Also, this is all 2024. What the hell? Oh, yo, 500? 2.1 million? All right, clearly, I have no idea how to play this game. I think this is becoming paramount. This is kind of game is convoluted and confusing to, to my poor brain. I have too much to think about. <laughs> so if I press the button to claim my rewards, 74, collect 84, $10 million and some gifts. Oh my God, I've got wheel. Oh God. <laughs> Look, I told, I just, uh, let me just press a button that does like a mega spin and goes ching, 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 to the amount of edge. Show me everything. <laughs> this one is 14 super wheel spins for some reason. I am fine. I'll take some more money. I'll, I'll take it absolutely any day. Then I can buy cars that I want. So this is what I understand. And I want you guys to correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm misunderstanding the whole concept of the Forza Horizon fight. Piss off Fiesta. Yeah, so that's all. The idea of the game. Overall, once you've beat the story, the story is to do wheel spins, get money, and fuck. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's to scam people. It's to basically rip people off. It's the same game as Car for Sale Simulator. <laughs> that's, what I get, that's what I do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a brain training game where you're supposed to remember every menu that you're supposed to go in, and then your wheel spins end up at 50. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, right? I just have 37 normal wheel spins, which I haven't gone through all my not other wheel spins yet, but. This will take me 20 years. We've already seen how long I will spend on something like this. Oh, 300,000. Oh, my God, I'm rich. And that's cool. So if I do collect the message and then quit, it kind of piles up my super wheel spin so I can kind of know how much I have. What? Why have they given me an LFA? What the hell? <laughs> when I do deserve this, can you give me a real one? I've now got like seven in this game. Anywho, that's not everything I wanted to do today. I wanted to spend the money and on some really unique cars that actually Forza Horizon has and does pretty well. 
First off though, this website that I used last time, I didn't even mention the name of it, I apologize. It's called Kudos Prime and it lists all the cars in the game. So you can actually list them by categories and stuff. It's not a sponsor, they ain't pay me nothing. So I'm not, that's all I'm telling you. <laughs> but <laughs> I really want this M3 competition. Now hear me out. Do I know why? No, because I already own this damn car, kind of. This is the M4. Now, something I've never understood, why does the M4, <laughs> This is going to be confusing, but hang on. Bear with me. This is the M4. The M4, for some reason, has two doors. Or three, if you count the boots. Whereas the M3, that has four or five doors. So shouldn't they just, like, swap the names? Leo, if you've got the two door, why would you possibly want more doors? Well, my friends, more doors is more ho hope to do challenges in where people can join me. Ah, yes. Big brain moment. So let's get it done. Here's the... Shh. You telling me? You tell, you're telling me? Nobody has one for sale. Has the auction house just been sniped to all hell? I, I am... I, I'm upset. I was kind of looking forward to buying one of those. That's a shame. But that's fine, because I was also looking for this. The BMW M2. I didn't even know it was in the game. I know they added it to, I think, Motorsport, and then it came back to this game. But either way, I hate this boxy, stupid thing, and therefore I want it in my collection. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't have to. Oh! No! <laughs> you motherfucker! There's gotta be some M2s. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna be honest, guys. I came in here, I was like, look. I am big brain. I know the meta of Forza Horizon. The best thing you can do is wait. Let all of the plebs of the world that play this game work and grind for these cars. I, I don't have 40 minutes to spare every week. And then I'll come in and buy it. <laughs> That's such a good idea, isn't it? Oh yeah. I'm gonna search for something that is like there and then can I just buy it from here? Oh, you can just buy it from this menu. That's how people are quick. Or they have bots. I don't actually know which one it is. Either of the two. But that's okay, folks, because I also want this. Why? Because I'm weird. I might have actually sold one of these. <laughs> it's Forza. I can't run out of charge. There's no normal issue with the electric nonsense. Surely people aren't after these. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Buy! Buy out! Yes! Ah. Yes! I got a car! See how much more exciting that is than unlocking from the festival place? If you get it from the festival place, you're like, hmm, yeah, kind of predictable. You get it from this. Let's go! <laughs> I'm genuinely excited by this. I got a car. I was kind of, thank you, Groupier. Whew. Let's freaking go. <laughs> I got I got one of the cars. <laughs> it may be the worst car I possibly want from today, but nonetheless, I've got it and I'm excited about it. Mom, I've done it. I've got myself an electric BMW. Listen to that purr. Right, it sounds, you know, like an electric vehicle, but this thing, I was going to say it's pretty cool, but it's not. It's, it's totally the least cool car I, <laughs> I, I, I purchased. I could have purchased. But nonetheless, it's a unique vehicle and that's pretty cool. Now, one thing I will say, I'm gonna say it. Why is it so tall? I know why, the batteries are in the bottom. We gotta, we gotta fix that problem, mates. We gotta, we gotta sort that out. At least it's not an SUV. Could have been worse. Could have bought the XM three ton thing that will kill your children. This, hey, it can slide. It's, it's, it's a bit fun. You can have a bit of fun in this. No, it's not an M4, M3, uh, M2 competition, but I should be able to do some customization to it and make it look nice and good from bump. <laughs> right, putting some Forza Aero on it. Are you joking me? I mean, at least that Forza wing looks a little bit nicer than the standard one. Yes, and we got the battery. We can go full power, baby. We can make this thing souped up and nice. You're gonna be like, what? Wait, it's got a wide body? What the f <laughs> Yo! I actually had no idea. That That's actually kind of cool. GG's Forza. I gotta be honest, I don't like the slats when they do the wide body. Like, I think it looks a bit naff. They could have at least done a wing as well. Come on, guys. That 
is actually pretty cool. We have gone from 330 horsepower to 1,100 and 1 1.6 kg. That is a proper weight for a car of this caliber. I'm impressed, BMW. I'm impressed. Let's see how good this thing is. Check it out. It doesn't sound anywhere near as cool as anyone else. Do I have gears? No, I don't. I'm just spit. Hello? Hello? Why can I not go any quicker than this? What? There's no, surely no gearing or anything. Why is it going 80 miles an hour? Look, you, <laughs> this has got to be some kind of joke, right? Bro, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's gotta be tuning. There's gotta be tuning. There's gotta be tuning. There's gotta be tuning. It's just tuning. Sounds pretty cool though. Like for an electric vehicle, it's going to It's gotta be tuning. Gearing, acceleration first. All right, there we go. That makes more sense. I was so confused for a second there. Let's go full beans. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now that's, that's an electric car right there. That's more realistic right there, friends. Oh, here we go. This is gearing. I was talking about 100 miles an hour. This is quick. Elon Musk in the bin. I can't turn though, because it is still, you know, it's a little long and it's pretty cool. At least you feel like you're, whoa, 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 talk, talk, talk. Like a little Formula E machine. Pretty exciting. There's some noise going on and it's not just through the speakers. Have you heard the speaker sounds that some of those cars do? I've seen them on real, mate. Can you, may as well just not. <laughs> At least the Taycan, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. But don't try and fool me with no Roblox sounds in your cars. Don't even bother. Listen, I'm allowed to hit 200 miles an hour. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much, BMW. That's what I was expecting. I was expecting to break at least 200 today. Maybe not in this, but hell, it's still a BMW. We're not done because I do want, <laughs> there are some other cars and I'm still determined. I'm gonna try and keep getting that M2. Every time I go back to the garage, I'm like, give me the M2, give me the M3. Not available, fine. We'll carry on. We will push on 221 miles an hour, which means we can do a little bit of a tune. Basic car lessons with Theo. Adjust until the top speed doesn't move very much anymore. About here. Yes, look at that, picking up speed. Picking up the pace. How to tune the speed on Forza Horizon with me, Pants Majee. All right, I'm done with this car. Let's move on. <laughs> oh, piss! The other car that I was kind of looking to get is this. A McLaren something or other. The, the 765 LT. I do know my cars. This is actually a really cool McLaren because it is kind of unique, kind of aggressive. Didn't Shmi have one at some point? Maybe? 765? I, I don't know. Oh, 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 this is M2. This is M2. Load. What the f- right, McLaren 765LT You really telling me? Are you really, really telling me? There are none available on the market. This was my big brain plan. This was my idea. I was going to genuinely title this video. I am the big brain man of Forza. It wasn't going to be quite that, but like, I, I thought I knew what I was doing. I thought I figured it out. I thought I'd just wait for everyone else to do the work for me and I throw money. This is how capitalism works. This is how economy works. Man with lots of money for doing very little in, in this game goes, oh yes, I would like one of those if I would throw the money at it. But apparently that doesn't happen. You know what you should be able to do is like put a request, put a request on a board and be like, I am willing to pay this much money for a car. And then everyone that goes onto the auction goes, oh, I have one of those and sell it. That would be a pretty cool change. I like that idea. Does anyone else like that? That sounds really cool. There's an M4 that's been up for six minutes. People really care more about the four doors. What's a disgrace. The starting bid is 20 million. Sewing puppy, you are a constitutionally illegal per person. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh! <laughs> yes! Finally, all of my hard work. I am so ready. Let's check out the customization that's available. Hey, that's some good boot space. You know what? As much as I hate to admit it, with some little changes, this could be one of the coolest BMWs currently. I still prefer the 1M, but nonetheless, can I open the hood? 
Hello? It's a pretty cool large coupe. Like today's, it's very tall and fat. Oh man, they maybe like some what? What? Uh, uh, genuinely, I at least expected like a basic wide body or something. What? I'm stuck on all the performance upgrades. At least it's still, I'm sure. So, wait, let's see what engine swaps it's got. Engine swaps, we have got the stock. Fine, we've got a four liter V8, a V10, and what's this? A racing. Why? We gotta stop 2JRB and everything, okay? Generic six cylinder. Let's make it how it should be. Big old V8 motor, all wheel drive, nah, rear wheel drive, and twin turbos. How every BMW sporty car should be. Here we are then, the BMW M2. Of course, we had it in Need for Speed Unbound and the customization was great. Of course, it's Forza, so you need to be a bit more realistic handling. That's a little bit more. <laughs> However, at least they gave us the ability to put a V8 in it. Anyway, let's check this car out. Let's see what we get. Top speed. Do a little bit of a drive in it. Interior is pretty nice. Decent. Screen in the middle. Screen in the dash. Not one on the passenger side because that would be wasting money. Very important. Does it have air con dials still? Very important. Fun fact, by the way, uh, that's really annoying on new cars and where everything's on a screen. You have to go menus and submenus. To the point where the EU safety regulator is making it so that you actually have to make it very simple and very basic buttons. Otherwise, you lose safety regulation points based on stuff being in screens. That's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. Whether it will actually abide by that. I, I don't know. So there you go, the BMW M2. I, I genuinely kind of excited that I got this car. But there you go. Um, that's the car. And it'll go into my collection and, and, and sit there. But I've got it. So that's quite nice. What the hell is that, Lexus? Got some learning to do. And so have you.